Arm and chest swelling can be caused by various things, including lymphedema or from surgery. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist that specializes in lymphedema and the lymphatic system, as well as oncology. In this video, I'm going to show some of the best exercises to do to help decrease swelling in the arms and in the chest. If you like these exercises printed out on a handout or other exercises, you can find these on my website, which I'll link up above as well as down below. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe down below for weekly new videos, and you can also follow along with us on Instagram for more related content. So these exercises are safe to do when someone is cleared by their doctor to do them. Especially if someone had surgery or an infection or maybe even radiation, you wanna make sure that you get clearance first. For many of these exercises, being consistent with them, doing one to two times a day over the course of multiple days or even weeks is important to see some sort of change. If someone has lymphedema or another chronic condition, they may also need to do these for months or years or long term to help manage the side effects. These exercises may be done any time of day. Doing 10 or 15 of each movement is a great place to start. There also should be no pain involved doing any of these exercises. If there is any pain, someone should stop them right away. So first I like to start with just good shoulder rolls. So bringing your shoulders up and forward, up to your ears, and then back and down all the way around. And just repeating that with nice, big, large range of motion, large circles. Going a handful in one way, and then you can do a handful in the other way. This is a nice way to help stimulate the lymph nodes that are right around your clavicle or your collarbone area, as well as around your ears and then your armpit. Just a good way to stimulate the system, good place to start. So doing 10 or 15, again, either direction or alternating, that's a great option or a great exercise. Another exercise that we can do are shoulder raises. So bringing our arms up in front of us, up overhead, coming back down with control. And then I like to alternate going out to the side, all the way up overhead, and then coming back down, back and forth. If someone has any shoulder issues or shoulder pain, we wanna start by not going as high. So maybe going to about head height or shoulder height and coming back down. And if we still have pain after that, then just discontinuing the exercise. But back and forth 10 to 15 times to get nice motion, nice muscle activation in the shoulder area. Now after we've done a lot of the shoulders, we also wanna work in the upper arm. So using dumbbells, these are one pound weights. You can go with no weight or really low weight, doing bicep curls so all the way up and then all the way back down. I like to keep my elbows by our sides and it doesn't matter if you wanna have your palms up or if you want your thumbs up and doing more of a hammer bicep curl, either way, whatever is comfortable for someone, but just making sure that we're having control on the way down is really key. So doing 10 or 15 of those, nice and lightweight, good simple way to get some muscle pumping to help with the flow of the lymphatic system as well as the veins. You can also try ball squeezes to get some activation in the hands and the fingers. So a lot of people have tennis balls laying around, maybe a baseball, maybe they have a stress ball or something that's a little bit more squishy, whatever works for someone. But all we wanna do is just elbow stays by our side for comfort at our shoulder, squeeze the ball, mild to moderate squeeze, and then let go. Squeeze the ball and let go. You can even grab a rolled towel, something just to squeeze and get some muscles pumping in the hand and the fingers and then relaxing 10 or 15 times, and then we can move on. So we can also do a wall push-up to make sure that we're getting activation in the upper shoulders, or in bending in the elbows, as well as our chest and our back muscles. So I like to stand about shoulder, um, dis or shoulder height at a wall, arm distance. You can also do this at a countertop as well, but starting there, shoulder width, letting yourself fall in, making sure that your elbows don't go too high and wide, keeping them nice and low, and then coming back up. So again, I also like a countertop for this, but a wall or a door works well. Doing 10 or 15 times, nice and gentle. This is a nice body weight exercise to get a lot of muscles working all at once. Another 
exercise is going to be with rows. So I have a band here. What I can do is I put a knot in the middle of the band and we can put it in a doorway. We open up the door. Shut the door. This also works on the hinge side and then get a little bit distance away. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to take the band and we're going to squeeze and pull back and then come forward, thinking about pinching our shoulder blades back and behind us and coming back out. Open up the chest and then come back forward. Open up and back, nice and controlled, nice and gentle. Another great exercise to get decrease swelling in the arms and the chest is with chest presses. So I'm using one pound weights. This can be done without any, any resistance whatsoever. But otherwise just use a really light weight to start. From there, we're gonna go on our backs. I like to have the feet bent up just to, for comfort in the low back, but your legs can be straight. We're gonna have our arms a little bit out to the sides. And from there, we're going to press straight up towards the ceiling and controlling right back down to that position. All the way up, all the way down. Keeping this nice and controlled. Again, start with no weight or really light weight, and then someone can gradually build up over time, but doing 10 or 15 times, nice and easy. And those are a few exercises for swelling in the arms and in the chest. Be sure to work with a physical therapist in your area for more personalized guidance. You can check out the other videos on my channel for more exercises. If you'd like to see any other topics in a video, feel free to comment that down below. Otherwise, we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks, everyone.